Is this daily posting, constant engaging and commenting on LinkedIn even working? Am I attracting any new clients? This is the exact question that Peter, my client, asked me last week. And today, I'm gonna share with you how you're gonna know if what you're posting is attracting clients to you on LinkedIn. And I'm gonna share the three biggest mistakes that most business coaches make when posting that actually are costing you clients. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Charlene Tessier, and I help business coaches get leads on LinkedIn in as little as 15 minutes a day. I create new videos and new content every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe, bell notification, and follow me on LinkedIn because you don't want to miss it. And I want to help you get started right away. So stay right to the end and I'm going to share with you how you in five days will be able to start attracting your first client on LinkedIn. Don't want to miss it. So how do you know if what you're posting on LinkedIn is working? This is exactly the question that I have, that you have, that even Peter had. Is all this effort and energy we're putting into LinkedIn actually working? Should we keep doing what we're doing? And when Peter first came to me, he was trying everything. He was in Facebook groups, posting endlessly on Instagram. He was tired of all of these kind of false promises of hoping to get leads really, really quick. And he wasn't really getting anywhere. And he decided that he was going to double down and really focus his energy and his marketing efforts into one place. And that social platform he decided to choose was LinkedIn. He approached me and he was ready to double down and be serious. Now, when Peter went, came to me, he actually had one of those minimalist LinkedIn profiles. You've all seen them and you've all done them. That's when you essentially throw up any headshot you got, quickly type in some kind of title, fill in a few forms, save it, and forget about it for the next five to 10 years, nothing happens. And that's exactly the kind of profile Peter came um, with. He had nothing on his profile, he had never posted on LinkedIn, and he didn't know where to begin, but he did know he wanted to do it right the first time. So we got started and I'm going to share with you the three things that Peter doesn't do on his posts and whether he's been able to know and if I'm able to know if he's been able to get clients on LinkedIn. So his very first mistake that most business coaches make is that they speak to the many. Now this is a cardinal copywriting rule called the rule of one. And we can do a whole video on this rule of one, but I'm just gonna emphasize the one part of what it is that we really need to focus on right now. And the rule of one states that whatever copy you write, whether it's video, whether it's a carousel on LinkedIn, it's a post, anything that you really create to put out there to attract your audience should focus on one big idea one reader and one call to action and one promise. What I always say is that when you speak to the many, you speak to no one. Now you might be disagreeing with me here right now. You might be saying, but wait, but wait, I'm on LinkedIn because I'm B2B and I speak to other businesses, other businesses and organizations. I can't speak to the one because it's a group of people. Well, that's not quite true, is it? When we do business, we do business with people that we know, like, and trust. And in any and every organization, there is a decision maker there who is going to be the one to purchase your service offering. And they are the one person, and that's who you're going to speak to. Now, what kind of mistake that does it kind of look like? I'm going to give you an example. You don't want to do this. Hey, this is my super duper water bottle. 
I just made it out of sustainable materials. It's really hard. It's super portable. You definitely want to buy this. DM me, DM me right away so that way you can get this water bottle. Now, what did I do there that really didn't work? I was not only selling, but I really was just talking all about me and the benefits to why my water bottle was the best. It was the best to me. And I wasn't speaking to the uh, one reader or the person who was there who would be interested in finding out why is this a great thing for me, right? So speaking to the one and focusing not on you, what you are so great about, but focusing on them. That second mistake that many business coaches make, oh, I'm sorry, skipped over that one. It's this one here. And that is only selling. And this is a huge mistake. If your LinkedIn feed is literally full of post after post of get my free thing, come to my event, watch my podcast, um, it's all sort of like buy my ebook, get my new course. This is the constant selling. And this essentially feels just like as if I came to an in-person networking meeting and I walk through the front door and the first person I said is like, hey, I'm Charlene. Hey, here's my flyer. You know what? You got to take this. Take this flyer. You got to come this Friday. It's the best thing ever. I know it is for you. No, no, no. You haven't even built a relationship yet. We would never do that in person. But that's exactly what you're doing when you're doing it on LinkedIn. You're literally just shouting at a person who you don't even know to buy my thing. Listen to me. It's all about me. And it's not about you. It's about them. And that is the next thing you don't want to do, right? Don't do that. Hey, hey, come and buy my thing. The third mistake that many business coaches makes is called a shotgun approach. And that's where they are trying to just hit somebody, anybody, uh, however they can. So they are posting on Facebook. Uh, sometimes they are then trying to put some stuff on Instagram. They occasionally hit up on YouTube, then they do LinkedIn and then they're, you know, back to the Facebook and it's just like the shotgun approach. They're just smattering everywhere in hopes that they hit somebody, anybody. It is not focused and it is not targeted. So you don't want to do that because in the end, it takes a lot of energy and effort as an entrepreneur. And so what I recommend is choose a platform, a social platform that you enjoy being on. That's the first thing. Number two, be only in that one place. Really be there. Don't just do a flyby haphazard posts, right? Think about who your client is there and speak to the one, right? Don't sell, deliver value, be present, be there for them and deliver the value. You will actually see a lot of changes. So let's go back to Peter and find out how do you know if he is actually getting clients on LinkedIn by posting and what I essentially shared with him and shared with you. Well, I asked Peter, what have you been doing? What kind of posts? Well, I've been doing posts that are, I'm giving away my best content. I love doing carousels. I love doing little short videos. I'm sharing all of this valued information with him. Excellent. Are you talking to the one? Yes, I'm talking to one particular group of people who would really benefit from my services. Yay, another win. And are you selling? No, I actually, I haven't even posted anything about coming to any of my events or getting any of my stuff. Wow, wonderful. Okay, so has anybody reached out to you recently? Actually, Peter said, somebody did. A really large nonprofit organization reached out to me. They direct messaged me to jump on a call. I was a little bit surprised because I didn't recognize them um, they didn't comment on any of my stuff or engage on any of my things. And so I got on the call and I asked them like, how did you find out about me? And they said, oh, we've actually been following you on LinkedIn. We really love what you're doing. We love the content that you put out and we love your service offering. And we are actually going to be running a beta program and we want to support you 
um, in being this, being in this beta program, and we're gonna even supply you sort of with all of this big marketing push behind this big nonprofit organization. So he was really surprised, and now they are in the works of getting this partnership going. So what do you think? Is his posting working for Peter? And more importantly, is what you're posting on LinkedIn working for you? Now, like I said, I wanna help you get your first win. In the next five days, you can join my challenge. You can join it at any time, and I'm gonna help you start attracting clients on LinkedIn and get your first one in the next five days. So, till next time.